test, 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 test. We know black folks, and number one, I'm not trying to scare everyone, but everybody remember that. There's no, I'm no, there's no fear here. Fear, no fear here. Okay. So now, I'm showing you the sun here. Recent, most recent action. This basically blowing its little butt off. Is that normal? No, it's not. A lot lower. Uh, the the smallest ripples you see on here, the very tiny ones, would be normal. Okay. Not large like this. Crazy. Going everywhere. And we're going to show you more because we got plenty of movies here. I'm trying to refresh this one. Uh, I think all I'm going to do is get we'll go ahead and go to another one. I got plenty of them. That one there that we've been looking at, and you can realize the overlays that we get. Now I had this one probably blow it up too large, but let's go with with having it big right now. Just looking at what's sitting still or what might actually move when it, if the player kicks in. Okay, so you can see all the super giant material up around the sun, which are huge planets, like I say, ladies and gentlemen, that no scientist or astronomer is going to argue with me, that Earth is not even as big as the smallest little white dot. Earth could possibly, if even possibly, be that big, okay? But I really doubt it's even that big, okay? Is that tiny little white speck or any of these? And this stuff, the sun is in the supergiants, okay? And these things are hitting or at least abrasing, and as you can see, another abrasion there because this is a more recent one. Yesterday, from solar, they pretty much stopped showing a good amount of the rub action that's going on. All these space because no matter what, even though these planets, all these are way bigger than Earth, okay? Just about all this stuff is bigger than Earth because in actuality, Earth is not more than uh, probably just like a grain of like one of these grains out here, okay? One of, a dark little grain, a very tiny little grain there would be Earth, okay, compared to the Sun. Jupiter's the only thing we're supposed to know that is as big as uh, the Sun in, this, in the Milky Way galaxy, okay. Well, there's way more than one galaxy, and we know that space is humongous, and it doesn't take long for space travel for our satellites to get way the hell out there, which are still pretty much way back by Earth. I was going to open up, I had one of them, I should have left it up here so to show you, but uh, so all this activity is right there right now by the sun. I'll put this one down to 100% and we'll see what we got for if we can get it to play. Hit play. And I don't know if they're going to let me play. But anyway, you get at least you get a recent shot of all that material that's around the sun there on that. Now these are all overlays. So we go to the next one and we'll see if it's playing. I had this bugger playing. This is the one that shows us a lot of the, how you get how powerful the sun is getting or just basically, if it's the sun's not getting its ass kicked, how much it's kicking all these little planets' ass? Okay, so let, let's look at it that way. If you want to be downplay something, okay. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is after we see this play a little bit here, I think I can pop it to 150, give you a better shot. So just realize I'm never going to fake bake you. That's going time clock there. But if I come up off that a little bit, you'll get a little bit more idea of the material and stuff because the immenseness of all these flares. And when you see that big blink like that, that is a humongous CME that affects pretty much somewhat the cameras a little bit, okay, when they do that, like that, okay. And then you see these flares we're getting. So there's tons of stuff hitting the sun, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, HI, I haven't even wasted time looking at there today. Uh, if you watch this one, which is normally very calm looking, it's the, st the action starting to even filter through to some of the overlays that they have. Okay, you can start seeing some of the big material. And like I say, anything you see is way bigger than the Earth, hitting the sun. Okay, and these are all overlays. And anybody that's been looking at the sun in Soho for a long time, they know that. Okay, that a lot of the stuff gets overlaid, and when you get those blinks, that's a CME more than likely. Okay, so and then I've got another movie here going on, and this is, these are updates. Now this is a good overlay one to let you see that the idea that the planets are there and all this material and the supergiants is there and you can see this is will show you overlay because when you get a solar flare on this shot and it's it's current okay off the fourth and it'll move forward to the fifth I think as far as it went as you just seen there okay so that's about as far as activity goes but the idea that you'll see those solar bursts that you're getting from uh, the other camera shot and you get this overlay shot will show you these planets and stuff and the material moving around okay and then on certain CMEs it'll be bright enough where it'll light up and illuminate these other humongous 
than these objects are, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, people, these objects are huge, okay? I could blow in on, on them and give you a little bit of an idea, but you can see how the sun is huge right there. When it blows in, see it there? That you can get an actual idea of how the size of the sun is right there, okay? And then the idea that you get an idea that basically you get the facts that Earth is very, very tiny. Wouldn't even be a speck like I showed you on that bigger yellow shot, okay? I show you on that yellow shot there. Now this is will show you how devastating that the sun is uh, CMEing and its rotation there. Okay, and this is current. And then like I was able to show you on here, and I don't know if I was able to get this to play and start showing the material coming around on this. I'll go down and hit play on this one, and then we'll go show you what all this activity is making go with Mother Nature and Earth here, because we're going to pop over to. RSOE, and I apologize for this one being shuttery and fast and stuff like that. I think I've got a decent sound this time. Last night I made one, and if you go to uh, the USG maps, we're just starting to heat up, and we're get when we get something off the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, uh, we're just starting to heat up again now because I didn't see this there lower earlier, but at the top of the graphs, and I know I'm flopping through these real fast, but you get an idea that we can always see all over the world what's going on on earthquake action, and we're. The Dominican Republic, the Atlantic Ocean is getting a lot of activity. So my idea is warning the United States because the idea that we've got to start paying a lot more attention because we've got all this action on the sun, CME action, building up even more. We have a huge object coming by. Uh, I'm supposed to get the ROSE. There we go. We have this huge at 1,328 miles an hour. And I'm going to show you what that is. And basically it is 1.3 km. But you have to realize all this other stuff that's caused a lot of this activity has been 74, 80. Uh, we've had other uh, Lovejoy pop up all of a sudden, supposedly that they didn't know about it. But the, we, the Australian guy did find it, and it was a uh, it was a triangulation, and we've shown and proved that on all my videos and so forth and so on. So these are all close objects that are coming by. Uh, we've had a lot closer, so it's not really, and it's not the idea of hitting the Earth. It's the idea that what are we getting? Or what are we going to continue to get over the next few years? And I even say through 2019, and basically six, seven, eight, nine, just the old German saying XB9, XB9, XB9. No, 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 no. Okay, is 2016. Okay, so uh, don't know too much about the calendar action, do we? But we know the Mayan one, and it's not the world's not going to end. Dark Ages. When did it happen? What really happened besides, uh, basically the Black Plague? Okay, we have all these volcanoes going eight poop. Okay, eight is the highest magnitude you could put one at. Okay, we've been showing you. I've showed you all the action with the terahydrons, tetrahydrons hitting volcanoes in the last few videos. This is all actual volcano activity. There's the recent tonight uh, earthquake activity on this one here. I've got a better ma uh, map I can show you real fast of that, and you know that I could actually, I'm not going to end up having my globe normally that wastes time showing and being real pretty with showing what the earthquake stuff. I will give you this a good map to go to, and they have a real good now incident thing, and also they've got all kinds of good links for that now too. But you can see as I move over here to the, and as you can see, we have earthquake over there in the corner, a very large one, okay? And I will pop out the map in a second for size, but I'm giving you the idea that we are heating up way more in the ring of fire over on the American side. And i.e., I can possibly, besides the sun, also give you, and we'll pop down on the size there, and you'll get a lot more. And I hate advertising, so I'll try to keep that out of there. But you can see all over the world. So over here off of uh, East Africa, that might be the Mid-Atlantic Ridge that we had that one big quake. Okay, so... America, you're heating up because we've had uh, up at the big Cardel, Car Calderas, volcano action. Uh, I mean, not volcanic, but I mean, it is giant underground volcano. It's up here in Yellowstone, Idaho, Colorado, and we had a quake down here at Alabama, 2.9 recently, okay? So uh, things are heating up. And somewhat, I can go here to Casey Station and I'll play the video for you real fast. I think we should play okay. Put it to large. and It's nothing new that we've not seen before, but I can take you to some pictures real fast and show you some other interesting stuff off this, okay? We had our object go by in front of pretty much Proximi Centauri and Rigel Canteris B and A and whatever else is coming around in front of the sun in the supergiants, okay? 
This will play pretty fast. Uh, I'll get up. Uh, let me show you the map on the time. Matter of fact, you might even miss the obvious beginning of the video, but uh, I'm going to show you this here because I'm going to show you the pictures in a minute of what we get with the 3D imaging that basically it mirrors what is up there of that planet Okay, when it comes around. So let me go to photos real fast. Now I have to go back and in, in, a, in, a, in a future videos I'll check the temperature of Proxemi Centauri uh, because we have a cooling planet as you can see the sun and the flames off here. I mean the sun is, it's a sun but it's not our sun. Okay. And we'll prove it is because this is our object as you also that I have caught off the ship photos down there, Australia's. Uh, I apologize for saying it wrong, guys, but the idea that you know what ship you are. Uh, send me an email how to say it correctly. And it's the British one down there, it's a British freighter for some scientific labs. And you can see our object that we have in front of it, and it's starting to show more and more. And we have a signature that we have located on this, and the, sig the signature is right here. We get the double halo action off of this because of the fast movement that rotates around this uh, either Proxemi Centauri or Rigel Centaurus. Uh, we just haven't figured out for sure. It should be Proxemi Centauri because in a, a moon of it or something like that, or a planet, because that's it, as we'll show you here in the planet. Now, you, uh, the number one thing is to pay attention to this shot here, and I don't know if I was took enough time to show it before, that when we are going to go through these shots, now there basically there's another part of it too, that you see the the, the glow there, uh, of it as it's going around because that's one of the 3D illuminations you get of it, and it's hard to tell yet so far if it's this or the other smaller one that we get the image sometimes. Which one are we getting? Because as I just showed you that it has that color signature, not like the sun with a, like a diamond it has a signature of that double halo thing, okay? And IE will know the time is you're going to show you that it's, and then there's a, one of the glows too, is where, the ID, where you see a factualization where the idea that we're getting more than one planet or whatever object that it is that twirls around that. And there's your time, so you know that it's our late in the evening, early morning, it's not the sun, okay? And the brightness that we get here also, now you see how all the lettering is white? Okay, it's got like a little bit of a halo of a black on it or something like that. Watch with this object. Now that's just a puddle of water there, so don't freak out on that. But that is also a halo of the, one of the objects or just that same object. But the, as you can see at that earlier shot, we can pretty much like this here. You can see the flame. There is, I mean, that's basically flame. Or it's one of those inner uh, photo flares bullshit, basically. What it is is some kind of gaseous state or... Uh, flare that it's putting off, that we've seen Jupiter and Venus and all these planets put off. Basically all the way back to 2007 is where I originally showed everybody the idea that Jupiter puts a flare off, okay? It's not this inner camera flare BS that they've showed you, okay? And we can see it in space and we busted everybody's balls at NASA about it. And their theory is probably pretty much a bunch of horse hockey because they're trying to cover up the idea of, now see how bright it is? It's the same object the time that it comes up, and so forth and so on. Now, if you watch the clock, too, you have to start remembering that it comes up down there at like 9, 9.30 something p.m. Uh, and then goes through whatever. Now, how fast this thing comes along, and you just basically back up the video I just played to you of the live action, and you will see that you take and you watch that video and of this object, because it's way more than one object. It's the rotators that rotate around this. And see how bright it is, folks? This is the white sheet. This is the end of the photograph right there. That's how bright it is. And it makes this middle hyphen, I believe that's what that is, uh, it makes it turn black. Okay? That's how bright the damn thing is. Because as it cools off and it's not there, it'll go back to white. Okay? Right there. It's white. Okay? But when it's there and hot or heat radiancy of some sorts, uh, it goes black, okay? It's actually a white, like all the rest of the letters that you see here, but it makes it go black, okay? So, it's not camera BS. This is object's actually there. It's one of the rotators that rotates around it, okay? And we've seen those objects like when we found the uh, moon thing, that how much stuff moves around, and we don't know if that was the planet or which one it is. But we definitely have rotators that rotate out there real fast, and I see the time's running out. 
So you can see how bright it is there, and it doesn't affect the camera. More tonight.